All right, welcome back. We continue live right here on Pittsburgh CW. Bob Pompiani along with Gene Collier at 412-575-2600. Lots of tweets coming in. Uh, and we'll begin with uh, this one from Nick, who says, Pirates are pathetic. The owner doesn't want to spend money, therefore the team always seems to suffer. And we have this one from Marie McDaniel, says, the wheels, gentlemen, already are off. Jason Albert says, Jason, uh, Jared Hughes, who the Pirates released, is a 3.27 ERA against the Brewers in their bullpen today. Uh, those were the good old days when Jared Hughes was doing his thing, setting up. Uh, you also had guys like Watson and then Melanson and that bullpen. And honestly, Gene, coming into the season, I did not think the Pirate bullpen would be this bad. I had no idea that it could be worse than I think most of us ever thought. But quite frankly, they have no answers anywhere, with the exception of Felipe Rivera, who I thought should have been in the All-Star game. He was the only bright spot of that bullpen. Everyone else is just in turmoil. Yeah, and they're having a hard time getting to him. Uh, you know, if they don't get six or seven from the starter, it's a long way from that guy to uh, Rivero, and it's a big problem right now. Some people wondered yesterday if Clint Hurdle should have gone with him in the seventh inning, the same spot that Tony Watson came in. Hurdle said it's too early for that. Did you agree? Not necessarily. I mean, it was Hurdle who said earlier in the year that we're going to use these guys to win games, not get saves. Uh, but I haven't seen much evidence of that. I think that was one of the point. That was one of the situations where you might have been able to do that. Uh, managers, for whatever reason, are not willing to do that. Paul on the north side is first tonight on the Sports Call. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Okay, uh, Bob and Gene, happy Independence Day to you both. Thank you. Uh, I, have a, I have a few names to throw at you and see what you think. Uh, Francisco Cervelli, Gregory Polanco, and Clint Hurdle. All right. Uh, I think they should get rid of Cervelli. Because he can't, he can't play a full year. You know, he gets well, hurt. He makes too eleven long. million a, a year. Where, who's going to take him off your hands? Uh, somebody's out there is probably going to pay it. You know, they play for uh, less than. You know, they pay more for that for less talent. Well, Polanco is still too young to do. He's having a bad year. Thanks for the call, um, Gene. I'm not willing to to just say the. Uh, get rid of him. I, I think he is a disappointment. He may be one of the biggest disappointments along with Cole and those who've not been suspended and or, um, you know, involved in DUIs. I mean, <laughs> those two guys have really been bad. Polanco and Cervelli? Per, no, Polanco and Cole. In terms of your oh, expectations well, of this sure, team this year. Absolutely. Garrett Cole won 19 games two years ago. He's won 12 since. Yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's not a good thing. Polanco's having a bad year on top of a pretty bad year last year. Really starting at about June last year to the end is not a very good player. I mean, the Pirates' patience isn't going to be inexhaustible on that. No, but I wouldn't do anything now. We'll certainly get rid of him. Let's go out to Bill in Greensburg. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Hi, boys. How are you? All right, what's up? Hey, I just uh, saw on your newscasts uh, today and yesterday that the city has a new initiative. It's called Smell Something say something. So I think their uh, lines are going to be uh, jammed uh, over there from the uh, smell emanating from uh, PNC Park. That's pretty good. Why don't people that pretty good. Uh, you like that, Gene, in your comedy routine. I don't know if I go that far, but it's pretty good. Why, why don't people <laughs> vote with their uh, wallets and uh, just not go or don't watch the things on TV? Well, they, the they, the, adver they the both, advertisers will send the message. They both have done that, actually. I mean, things their uh, attendance is down, Bill. Uh, 4,500 a game on average, and the ratings are down, Gene. It's, yeah. it, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, it's starting to happen. I mean, uh, that's a good question. And, you know, the, uh, the backdrop of that question is that you, you, can't, you can't really thrive as a baseball organization if you're only going to draw people who are really, really interested. You have to draw a lot of people who aren't that interested, who, mm -hmm. really, who just will not want to go to the ballpark as a place to be, walk around the concourse, you know, uh, look at their phone. Uh, you, you're relying on those people. You are. <laughs> yeah, they look at their phones a lot. Let's go to Ken in Clearfield. Hey, Ken, how you doing? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, hi, Bob, Gene. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, we're uh, right, just up? a Penguin question. Uh, I don't mind uh, losing uh, Coonins and Bailey. I think Benino was a big dis. I, I think they should have kept Nick uh, Benino. Uh, but I think they have their. I think they have everybody else set. And I think they're going to have a great year again next year. What do you guys think? Yeah, they should be one of the teams that you're going to look at as, as the team to beat. I think other teams in the East have done some pretty good things. I think Boston's going to be much improved. I also I think just, the Rangers, mm -hmm. they brought in Shattenkirk. 
They got rid of some other money in Derek Stepan, and but you know there are going to be some good teams out there. And Washington once again will be one of them. They just signed Kuznetsov long term. Oshi, uh, they're not going to trade Ovechkin, so they're going to have the same core people together. Speaking of Onino, what would you do here? And I know Jim Rutherford said it, there is no timeline. He could wait weeks, months. He doesn't have to do on anything Cullen? soon. What's that? On Cullen? No, on Bonino. Did I say Cullen? No, you said Bonino. But well, I, I'm wondering about a replacement for Nick Oh, Bonino. yeah. Um, and it's going to be a trade. And you've heard Matt Duchesne. He cost a lot of money. Yeah. Plus, you'd have to give up a lot to get him. I don't know if they're going to go that drastic, are they, for a third-line center? No, I don't think no. so. And I think they are going to wait. I think, you know, what, whoever that person is, will come uh, probably in September, actually. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Or late. later, or later. Or they could be waiting right now for a response to an offer. I mean, Jordan right. Stahl's name's out there. He makes a lot of money. Carolina would have to eat some of that money because he would fit the profile of what sure. you would like. He has five years, 30 million left on a deal that Rutherford gave him when yeah. he was traded to that, that team. And uh, so now maybe if he gets them back, but it's going to take them eating some contract. Another name you hear out there, this is a name I like, but he comes, I don't know that you'd have to spend a lot, is Nick Bukestad out of the Florida Panthers. Yeah. He's a really good young player who fits what I, they would need. The problem is um, he signed for, I think, one, two, three, four, five more years, four more years, whatever the case, at a pretty good salary. Yeah, he's not going to fit financially no. for that. No, you got to get somebody who can make their money in the next two years and yeah. be off of their payroll in two years. Right. So that's who they're looking around and try to find. All right, let's go to John in Johnstown. Hey, John, how you doing? Okay, Brother Bob, how are you doing? And happy 4th of July to you and Brother Gene. Thank All right, you. brother. Same to you. Okay, and I'm very happy that Andrew McCutcheon won Player of the Month for June, Brother Bob. And it's time for Clint Hurdle to go. He's mismanaged this team all year long. And God all bless right. you and go battle in bucks, Brother Bob. All right, my man. Uh, you know, a lot of people say it about Hurdle, but we've heard reports, Gene, that both he and Huntington have already been extended, although I don't understand if that's the case why the Pirates haven't announced this. If it's true, why, why not announce it? I, I don't think it's true. You don't think it's true? It came out on some prominent national guys, so and we'll see. Bob, Dallas, Bob, and Dave are all coming up. We're going to take a break, go back with those calls, and more reaction to all of this right here on Pittsburgh CW, so don't go away. <laughs> 